Alright, what's going on guys? Boy TG, welcome back to another video. So in this video, we're going to discuss the, uh, the NHL award predictions for the 2024 NHL awards. Who's going to win what award at the end of the year? Now, I'm going to only be discussing some of these awards and not all of them. Uh, we'll start off with the R. Ross Trophy and... It's got to go to Conor McDavid, and it's not even close. I mean, Conor McDavid, talk about Conor McDavid. This is Conor McDavid talking about. 150-plus point, point season, 60-plus goals, and not to mention he's one of the best NHL superstars, a generational talent to watch on the ice. So I feel like it's got to be Conor McDavid that takes home the Art Ross Trophy at the end of the year. I'm telling you guys, not even close. This guy can dangle. This guy has good acceleration out on the ice. And I just feel like with all that talent, and plus he's like a goal-scoring machine, kind of like prime Alex Ovechkin. So with all that talent right there, it feels like, and not to mention the 2023-2023 NHL season he had, which might have been the best season of his NHL career, I feel like he's got to win the R. Ross Trophy at the end of the year. Up next, got to go with the Hart Memorial Trophy. Goes to the MVP of the team, and it's got to go to Conor McDavid once again because of all those things I just said about his generational talent and his skills on the ice. I feel like... The hearts got to go to Colin McDavid uh, at the end of the year. Some candidates that could win the heart could be Austin Matthews. He could he could be a candidate, but uh, who's going to win it? It's got to be Colin McDavid to win it. Up next, James Norris Memorial Trophy. Now, not going to lie to you guys, I was kind of torn here. Uh, it could be either Kale McCarr, Adam Fox, or Eric Carlson, who I think were all three nominees for. For this year's uh, James Norris Memorial Trophy, that going to Eric Carlson, who's now on the Pittsburgh Penguins. Uh, but I feel like it's got to be Kale McCarr. I'm taking Kale McCarr all the way. I mean, I said this before. I say it again. He's the Conor McDavid of defense. This guy, he won the call the trophy before. He's won a Norris before. He could win his second Norris right here. Uh, like I said, Conor McDavid of defense. This guy has good, great speed out on the ice and he can do that just uh on the defensive pair so i feel like james norris gotta go to kind of uh kale mccarr up next for calder memorial trophy i feel like it's got to be the blackhawks draft prospect former regina pats center connor bedard it's got to win the call i mean this kid has been talked about for a long 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 time a long time I heard about him when I was like 13 or 14 years old. That's when I first noticed Conor Bedard and all of his talent and whatnot. By the way, me and Conor Bedard, same age. And me and Conor Bedard was also born in the same birth year. <laughs> Just a fact. Anyway, uh, this kid is generational talent. Kind of like Conor McDavid. Had a heck of a WHL career and uh, season 2022-2023 NHL. I mean, WHL season uh he's won two gold medals with team canada in the world juniors so he can bring all that talent all that skill all that ability to the chicago blackhawks guarantee you guys he's going to win the caller at the end of the year so can't wait to see him on the blackhawks and like i said should win the call at the end of the year future hall of famer for sure now I'm gonna skip the Vesna only because uh, I don't know I don't know who's gonna win the Vesna to be honest with you guys. I mean I know Linus Olmark won the Vesna this year and that was because of one reason because the Bruins were a heck of a team to watch uh, that season. So I feel like uh, I just don't know what to expect from the goalies this season. But only reason why Linus Olmark won the Vesna in my opinion because Bruins. They were first in the league, President's Trophy winners. I mean, um, why not give the Vesna to one of the Bruins goalies? Because they were a heck of a team to watch that year. And both him and um, Jeremy Swayman won the William Jennings. So I'm just going to skip the Vesna Trophy for now. I'm going to skip that for now. But let me know in the comments, who do you, who do you guys think will win the Vesna? Um, 
I kind of are, but I'm not going to lie to you guys. Uh, I might have some good goalies in mind that win the Vesna, but I don't want to say, I don't want to share them just yet until I see what happens uh, this season. But let me know what you, who do you guys think will win the Vesna trophy down in the comments. Anyway, Frank J. Selke trophy. Got to go with my boy Jack Hughes. I mean, what's, how can I not go with Jack Hughes? One of my favorite players, by the way, uh, even though he's has been in the league for that long, but uh, he, I'm pretty sure he can be the next Patrice Bergeron. I mean, Patrice Bergeron, before he retired, he's won a bunch of Vesnas throughout his career. I feel like Jack Hughes can get the start to that winning his first Vesna this year. So I feel like Jack Hughes can, you know, get it done for uh, the Devils. Up next, Rocky Richard. I got to go with Conor McDavid. I, you guys heard me say this before already in the video. Generational talent. Had a 60-plus goal season at the end of the year. Feel like he can do it again. Uh, so I'm going to go with him to win the Rock Richard. Now, I also could go with Ovi if he was in his prime. But I can't wait to see him break Wayne Gretzky's goal record. Uh, if he accomplishes it, which I know he will accomplish it soon. So, up next, Lady Bean got to go with Braden Point. I mean, uh, I think he was a, I think he was either a candidate for Frank J. Selke or the Lady Bean for this year's NHL Wars. He's had a 50-plus goal season. I feel like he can, like, step up for the Lightning besides having Steven Stamkos, Nikita Kucherov, Victor Hedman, even though Victor Hedman plays defense. Uh... I feel like Braden Point can be that next great forward for the Tampa Bay Lightning. So I have him winning the Lady Bing this year. And Ted Lindsay, you guys know who I'm going to say. You guys know who I'm going to say. It's got to be Conor McDavid to win the Ted Lindsay Award. I mean, he's won this award before in the past. And I feel like he can win it again uh, right, right uh, at the end of the year. So, yeah. That's going to do it for this video, guys. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Like I said, I'm pretty unsure about the Vesna. I don't want to say anything stupid. Uh, I don't want to have to say stupid choice of who will win it. But I'm pretty sure I might think it over. Uh, think it over in my head. And then I'll give you guys an answer uh, afterwards. But let me know what you guys think in the comments. Do you agree with my decisions? Do you agree with some of my decisions? Or do you not agree with all my decisions? I mean, predictions, predictions. Man, I can't talk today. Um, let me know what you guys think in the comments. If you agree with some of my predictions or agree with all of my predictions or you just don't agree with it at all. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, hit it with a like. Hit it with the subscribe button. And I'll see you guys next time.